Time now for Sean Quinn, ESR Weather in the first alert weather center. Hi there, Tracy. Well, a beautiful night across the board. We're still on the warm side, though. We haven't quite lost the heat. It usually takes a couple of days as the Santa Ana more or less um, uh, kind of pooped out on Saturday, if you will, by the afternoon hours. So that meant we had a good day of Saturday, and we also had to deal with today being a little bit warmer than normal, and that's kind of an understatement. Currently 64 degrees. Humidity values, of course, really take a beating whenever we have these winds that are in any offshore direction. So that's going to take some time to recover, but it will. And here are your temperatures again. Again today looks like we're pretty safe with as far as far as records. We did drop back just a little bit today enough with a sea breeze in most areas or a tiny sea breeze and that helped to bring us down just a little bit even though we we're still well well above normal for many areas. Pismo Beach though, that's an area that yesterday I think was 89 and he dropped all the way back to 74 today which is still above normal but at least it is some improvement and 60s a few 70s right now as we speak. Gaviota you're coming down just a little bit that tells me that maybe the wind is starting to back off a little bit, uh, even though at 14 miles an hour. And we're going to be watching the winds this week, even though they're not expected to be real dominant. There might be some little spurts of, um, of uh, offshore effect of winds that we'll have to talk about, and I'll show that in a second. Humidity values recovering on the central coast, trying to in Oxnard, but look at Ventura where the reading is taken just a little bit farther inland under the foothills, and you can see a big difference there, and that's still the lingering effects of the dryness as we have that offshore flow pushing everything in this direction. So there's your marine layer way out to sea. It's going to slowly start to fill back in all because of this giant storm to our north, which is uh, bringing a lot of rain to uh, the Pacific Northwest. We're not really seeing much in the way of that. It's going to be more like a fire hose for central Oregon up through Washington into British Columbia. Uh, will any of that get to our region? Some for Northern California is possible uh, over the next couple of days. You can watch right here just a little bit into extreme Northern California. And as I mentioned, like a fire hose, this is an atmospheric river event really loading up for British Columbia, Vancouver Island, down into Washington. All good news for them. And let's just hope that we, uh, we are patient and we stand in line and we get our turn sooner or later. And as we do see that storm system moving up, you can see right there a little bit of rain does run into Northern California in the next couple of days. And that push of energy high and mid-level clouds and then the return of the onshore flow which is expected as we head into uh, tomorrow and then probably more so on Tuesday with expected marine there. Now wind, this might be interesting the next few days. The computers are having a hard time dealing with the possibility of some uh, minor and real quick spurts of either Santa Lucia's which is along the central coast and maybe even a few little puffs of Santa Ana's over the next several days. It looks like the marine layer and the ocean influence, the onshore flow should kind of dominate over the next several days, but might be surprised here and there that we get just a little a northerly flow winds or those northeasterly winds, those offshore winds uh, over the next several days here and there. It doesn't look like a, any big events, but there is that possibility. And there are your temperatures for Monday, and boy, what a difference a day makes uh, or a couple of days. And as we head to Tuesday, it probably uh, go down even more. As you can see, the computer really biting at the fact that we are expected to get a little cooler. So widespread 60s. This is about a 30 degree drop for some of these areas or at least close to at 25 plus degrees and that shows you just how uh, strong and influential that offshore flow can happen throughout southern and central California and then we go right back the other way so tomorrow a nice day no real expected uh, heavy cloud cover not quite yet as far as the marine layer so tomorrow should be decent uh, maybe a few clouds here and here and there at the mid levels and upper levels but the marine layer is probably uh, still about a day or so away before it starts to fill back in. So more ocean influence, even though it should be still mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies and just a decent day out there, uh, still even above normal for some areas. And you can start to see those changes between, say, Ventura and inland portions of Oxnard, Camarillo, Ojai, where it's uh, still warm or mild and the beach is getting a little bit cooler. Surf will be small, but it looks like we should keep at least some energy moving, maybe not a whole lot the next couple of days, but the long range looks pretty good for more surf. And there's your seven day forecast from the 70s to the 60s. We start to cool things down. We stay pretty quiet all week, except for the fact that our weather computers maybe are kind of sniffing at some more wind here and there. But overall, it looks like just kind of a marine layer week all week long. Uh, no rain chances, not yet. And just a, kind of a quiet one, but more fog and definitely cool than what we've seen the last few days. Tracy. All right. Thank you for that, Sean. Coming up, Rogers made a post COVID comeback. We have the score. 
And a Veterans Day parade took place this weekend. We'll show you where. That's still ahead on your local news channel, live at 6.